Over the past few weeks, an increasing number of countries across the world have struggled to contain the rapid spread of the novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. So now that the coronavirus is spreading across the US, how worried should you be? And what precautions should you take? Know the symptoms. According to the CDC, symptoms of the coronavirus include fever, coughing, and shortness of breath, which can appear anywhere between two days and two weeks after exposure. Most experts believe that the virus is transmitted primarily through coughing and sneezing, though it's also likely that it can spread through surface contact. Wash your hands. Please. Washing your hands regularly is the best way to protect yourself from the coronavirus, assuming you're doing it correctly. The CDC recommends getting your hands wet with warm or cold water, lathering your entire hands, including under the nails, with soap, scrubbing your hands for 20 seconds, rinsing with clean water, and finally, either letting your hands air dry or using a clean towel. It's also not a bad idea to carry around a hand sanitizer for times when you're not near a sink, though you should make sure it contains at least 60% alcohol. However, experts stress that washing your hands thoroughly, and frequently, is the best preventative measure. Don't buy a mask. Until you need to buy a mask. For the majority of people, face masks will not prevent you from catching the coronavirus. Instead, the CDC recommends masks only for people who are already infected or who are in close contact with people who are infected, like hospitals and healthcare workers. Unnecessary use of masks will lead to shortages, making it more difficult for people who need them, healthcare workers and people who have potentially been exposed, to be able to get them. Stop touching your face. In addition to washing your hands frequently, the CDC also recommends that you avoid touching your face, specifically, your eyes, nose, and mouth, which are entry portals for coronavirus and other germs. If an infected person coughs or sneezes on a surface, and you touch that contaminated surface and then touch your facial mucous membranes, the eyes, nose, and mouth, you could become infected. Stock up on prescriptions and household supplies. According to the New York Times, experts are recommending stocking up on at least a month's worth of prescription or over-the-counter medicine, in the event that you have to self-quarantine. Experts are also advising buying extra shelf-stable food, cleaning supplies, and other necessary household items. Practice social distancing. If there's an outbreak in your area, experts say it's wise to practice social distancing measures to mitigate the spread of viruses. These measures typically entail keeping your distance from other people, the CDC recommends standing at least six feet away, if possible, and avoiding crowded spaces. Some countries like France have already implemented such measures, like banning gatherings of more than 1,000 people. If you're sick, be cautious, if you experience any cold or flu-like symptoms, you should stay home and even if you aren't sick, it's a good idea to work from home if you can. Every time we leave our home, we increase our risk of exposure and transmission, potentially unknowingly. If you think you have the coronavirus, you should reach out to your doctor or local health department, or follow the instructions on the CDC's website. If you're pregnant. As of now, the CDC does not recommend specific precautions for pregnant women, as there's a lack of information from published scientific reports about the susceptibility of pregnant women to COVID-19. However, the CDC notes that because pregnant women's immune systems are in flux, it's possible they could be more susceptible. If you have a chronic illness, are elderly, or have a compromised immune system. While COVID-19 will cause mild symptoms in the majority of infected people, the elderly, especially those with chronic conditions, like hypertension or diabetes, are at greater risk for more severe disease. In this case, it's recommended that those who are especially susceptible, practice the above precautions as well as avoid people who display flu-like symptoms. If you're traveling. If you have upcoming travel plans, it's a good idea to stay up to date on the CDC's travel warnings for specific countries. In general, it's safest to avoid non-essential travel to countries with a sustained COVID-19 presence, right now, this includes Iran, China, South Korea, and Italy. For individuals who are especially susceptible to viral infections, including the elderly and those with existing medical conditions, the CDC advises avoiding travel to Japan as well. If you like this content, and you feel any safer about protecting yourself against the virus, please like and subscribe. We look forward to helping you with all your health-related needs.